to demonstrate a tool that we've developed in our multi-solving program at Climate Interactive that will help you realize the breadth of benefits that are possible with climate action. Multi-solving means you're doing something that's good for the climate and is also good for people in society. If you're a leader who is considering creating a policy or project, or a community member who is considering supporting one, it's important to understand the benefits that your action might create, and who will receive those benefits. This tool is called Flower. Each part of the flower represents a different type of benefit. At the heart of the flower is climate protection. Policies that protect the climate either reduce emissions of greenhouse gases or sequester them from the atmosphere. Since we're a think tank focused on climate change, each of the policies we analyze will have this central benefit. This green petal represents food and water benefits. Policies that increase access to healthy food or clean water would be represented by this petal, such as a program that redistributes food waste. This blue petal represents economic benefits. This might include policies that create jobs and business opportunities, help people save more money, or improve wages. The red petal represents health, well-being, and safety. Any project that helps keep people safe or keeps people physically and emotionally healthy, such as green space in a city, would be represented by this petal. This purple petal, the connections petal, is a little less concrete than the others. It refers to connections between people and connections with nature. So a project that increases a feeling of community would merit this petal. The orange petal represents energy and mobility, including the ability to make the things people need and the ability to get around. So public transit projects would be represented by this petal. And last but not least, the yellow petal represents resilience. No matter how hard we try to prevent further climate change, there are still going to be some serious effects. There will be sea level rise threatening homes and businesses, stronger storms, longer droughts, more disease, and economic crises. Resilience means people can survive and even thrive in the face of this uncertainty and disruption. A project restoring wetlands to reduce the impact of flooding could be represented by this petal. Just as important as noting the benefits of a project is noting who will receive those benefits. As a flower user, you can shade each petal to show how the benefits are distributed. Shading the center of a petal indicates the benefits are going toward people who are already privileged and well off. For example, a policy that promoted electric cars would only be available to people who can A, afford a car, and B, obtain a driver's license. This outer shading means that the benefits are going toward more marginalized and underserved populations. An example of this would be a program that creates a pedestrian walkway in a community of color. And of course, it's possible that everyone will receive the benefits of some projects, regardless of their degree of marginalization. In that case, we don't use any extra shading. When planning, think about what your assumptions are and what needs to be true for the benefits to be distributed as you think they will be. For example, is your pedestrian walkway accessible to people with disabilities? Let's create our own flower diagram. It's as easy as printing out a copy of a blank flower diagram from our website and coloring it in with whatever you have on hand. Our subject is an organization called Plant It Forward Farms, which trains refugees in Houston to set up organic farming businesses. Urban farms reduce greenhouse gas emissions by reducing the need for food transportation, so we know this policy is protecting the climate. We know this project helps people access fresh local produce, which means we can color in the food and water petal. This organization is helping refugees become small business owners, meaning we can color in the jobs and assets petal. I'm not seeing much for health, well-being, and safety outside of the food benefits, so let's move on. As for a connection, this project helps refugees become settled in their new communities, so let's shade in that petal. There aren't any obvious benefits in energy, industry, and mobility, so we'll leave this one blank. As for resilience, Houston is a city that imports most of its food. Creating urban farms means the city is becoming more self-reliant, so we'll color this last petal yellow. Now let's consider the equity component. Who is receiving these benefits? Refugees receive most of the economic and connection benefits. Since they are an underserved community, we'll put an outline on the jobs and assets and connection petals. The city as a whole is benefiting from the food they're growing and the improved resilience, so we can leave the food petal and the resilience petal as is, since everyone is getting those benefits. And there you go. You can do this exercise with any policy that's being proposed or any project that you're considering to evaluate its benefits or compare it with other proposals. It's not an exact science, so don't stress about it. Flower is freely available on our website at climateinteractive.org slash multisolving slash flower, and we hope you find it useful. We created Flower because we want to see communities that are healthier, more prosperous, better connected, and better prepared for climate change. Whether you're a policymaker, project leader, or just a concerned member of your community, you can use Flower to evaluate potential investments and to advocate for new ones. 
Let's start creating a better world together.